The FBI refuses to defend in public its own policies. And there's a good reason for that. Their policies are indefensible. Yeah. Attorney General yes. Eric Holder recently recommitted himself to the FBI's abuses of civil rights, defending, for instance, the operations where the FBI will infiltrate a lawful group, bribe unsophisticated or mentally unstable people to the tune of hundreds of thousands of dollars of taxpayer money in FBI-initiated plots which will be trained, equipped, funded by the FBI, and then prosecuted as supposed to terror. Meanwhile, 20 activists across the Midwest have been subjected to secret grand juries and Muslim American faith institutions around the country have been infiltrated. The FBI is more worried about harassing peace activists and bribing Muslims to participate in fake plots than they are in actually addressing real instances of political violence of the sort that left a federal judge dead and a member of Congress in an intensive care unit two weeks ago. We do want the FBI to enforce the law. We want the FBI to enforce the law to everyone. And we want the FBI on today, in particular, the day we're called to pay homage to Dr. King, to respect the Bill of Rights and perform its job as a law enforcement agency rather than a law violation agency. So I'm going to just kick around one time about warrantless surveillance government spying, telecoms giving agents data that we're all buying. You can ask to see the policies, but they're still lying. When you're on the phone, the NSA hears you crying. We got JTTFs, we've got fusion centers. If our nation was a car, we already lost the fender. It was the Fourth Amendment. Now so much ink, it's been lost by a people who follow, but don't think. Yeah. We follow, but don't think. Yeah. Follow, don't think that intelligence collection aims for prevention. To stop crime before it happens is the stated intention, but they don't mention that we're tracking old ladies. Investigate the state. The mission is shady. So we won the Cold War, right? We won the Cold War. We integrated East Germany, but now, intimidated by terror, we sacrificed liberty. Before they left D.C., Bush and Cheney turned the FBI into the KGB. There are 800,000 police across the country now monitoring your activities. You can't take photos. You can't take videos. You can't take notes. You can't draw. You can't blow your nose without your face ending up in a government database. Why? Because intelligence collection aims for prevention. To stop terror before it happens is the stated intention, but they don't mention that once you're on the list, straight up your behind goes the government's fist. <laughs> so authorities collect information, they share it across agencies, even though the Constitution protects privacy. Transition in the White House, wait and see, they're still asserting executive secrecy. What'll it be in these Obama years? Hope, all you want but keep the same fears. We are all getting ground up in the same social gears. Freedom ain't free yet, y'all. We owe it in arrears. We face an aggregate, accumulated democracy deficit. And once it sticks, brothers and sisters, that's it. Because intelligence collection aims for prevention. To stop dissent before it happens is the intention. They don't mention that we're talking thought crimes, ideas in your head. The FBI has criminalized our minds. Thank you for being here on MLK Day. Bradley Manning! Free Bradley Manning! Come on! Free Bradley Manning! Free Bradley Manning! Free Bradley Manning. Free Bradley Manning.